to start a YouTube video. You could be like bubbly. Oh, that was about to be like bubbly. Because <laughs> you're like. <laughs> Cutting it. Main? Main? What's up? <laughs> say something. I don't know what to say. Oh, it's because yeah, I don't know how to start it. Start, start it. Just finished. Uh, yeah, I just, I just don't know how to start it. <laughs> I just, it's so awkward because it's like, what do you say? Do you just start talking or do you say. <laughs> Um, we just got out of class, just finished an exam, it's about 5 o'clock right now. Um, today is our first day off of the deload week, so we're going to start Candido's program today. It's chest day, and we're not really going off of his program because neither of us are fully committing to a powerlifting program, but we're just using his percentages and stuff like that. Um, we're pretty... And yeah, I think we're pretty... We're pretty much using his program, just not his oh. accessory work. That's because, what I mean. yeah, because we're still doing exactly what he says on his main lifts. But after we bench, you know, he would want to do some weighted pull up, some OHP, and some T bar row. And as opposed to that, we're just going to be doing the back and tricep, I mean, arms today, and then tomorrow we're going to do back and shoulders, and then we'll do Wednesday. The only difference is he has three bench days, the first two being pretty similar, and then the, the third one is a little bit different. And we're going to have two bench days, so we're going to have the first one, and we're going to do it, and then we're going to do his third one as our second one. So, yeah. I don't know if it's going to yield the same results, but... Hopefully it does. I mean, it should... There's no... There's no rush, really. Yeah. Yes. You can compete in powerlifting whenever you want, really. Yeah. If you can just jump into competition. I'm debating it. I have some serious, like, like mental barriers I think, that I need to get through I think, before I can do that. I think you could already so. place. I don't plan on competing in powerlifting for, at like, at least, like, three or four years. So I'm I'm not in a rush whatsoever. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not going to commit to a um, complete powerlifting program until I get bodybuilding out of my system. And until yeah. I step on... I do a few shows and I win a few shows, it's not going to be out of my system. So... It's way, way in the future, but I don't see myself ever, like, stopping. Yeah, I mean, I don't, like, want to lifting, compete, like, I never... But I still like doing a bunch of different stuff. Yeah. And so I like mixing the two together, but, I mean, everyone that I've talked to, and it's pretty obvious that if you mix the both, you're not going to get as good of results. And they're related, but... you know? Like, you have to get stronger if you want to build muscle, and a lot yeah. of people don't think that, and, and they they focus on, like, the pump and stuff like that, and I... I guess I'll talk about we'll talk about this more in, in the our voiceover? in our voiceover because what we're gonna do is we'll film. There's four sets of bench that we have to do today. We'll film our sets and then um, we'll just do a voiceover on that. And we'll kind of do the one where we'll record it and then we'll put that in the yeah, corner so you guys can see. Yeah. So that's what this video is gonna be about, guys. I just want to take you guys through uh, this program with us since we've never followed a. a pre-specified program the last one we did was my mine that i came up with so this i'm looking forward to it i like i like that you can download it on your phone too so we're just gonna be following it and that's it we'll see you guys in the gym going on guys so i figured to change things up a little bit um i'll do a voiceover and then put this clip in the corner i've done that before but uh instead of just doing a regular voiceover so right here you see me and i'm also looking at this way because this is where the computer is. so i've just started out the program uh, called for 135 um, for 10, 170 for 10, 190 for 8, and then 205 for 6, I believe, or something like that. So nothing too hard. And then for Lexi, I don't remember her exact numbers, but you can see it's really, really light for her as well. So I just wanted to kind of talk about a fresh start, guys, and and getting a change of perspective on things because I think I see a lot that people, you know, they get stuck in their ways myself included and they don't want to do anything when I want to get into powerlifting I wanted to create my own program I spent a lot of time creating my own program and even though my strength did go up a little bit you know it's hard for me to to put my ego aside and and follow someone's program and you know I'm finally doing that with Candidos and you know I just I just wanted to talk about change of perspective not being stuck in your ways because the worst that can happen guys is that you'll 
learn from it. You'll still take something away from the experience of it, and now if it doesn't work, you'll know what doesn't work. But you know, it, I always relate lifting a lot to school um, and other aspects of my life because it's such a big part of my life, and I feel like the the mental edge lifting gives you is way bigger than people realize, and it translates over to other parts of your life. And I think that. Um, you know, when you get stuck in your ways in, in school as well, you know, for me, you get stuck studying a certain way, you get stuck doing a certain thing over and over again, you'll never know if anything else works. And when you're doing one thing, one way, and it doesn't work anymore, then you have nowhere to go. So it's just nice to get a change of pace, guys, to, to try something new and to, you know, gain perspective, gain experience. You can never have too much experience. You can never learn too much. And I feel like that's what people don't realize. You know, they think that because something's working, kind of like the, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But to me, I feel like the more you learn, the better you can make yourself and the more you can grow in any way. Because if you learn and you take a little piece of everything you learn and add it together to fit your needs, then there's nothing better than that. No pre-specified program, no one way in anything in life is gonna work for everyone. So, that was a little rant I had to go on. Um, you know, I just felt like it was a good time to talk about it, starting this new program, and like I said in the video, it's our first program ever doing. So, here, looks like she's doing her last set. It's, um, this call for a set of six, I'm pretty sure she had to do 90 pounds, so two tens and a 2.5 on each side. And we went ahead and didn't film any of the accessory work for you guys, but we went ahead and did um, our leg day footage too, so you get to see both sides of the program. So this was our upper body day, and then right here you'll see leg day. So we started out with, uh, it was a four by six with 190, 190 for Lakshmi and 250 for myself. So this was brutal guys. I. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I've heard from a lot of people that can't do this program. Um, it's a little bit taxing on your nervous system. That's why it's four natural lifters, the way he does it. It's only a four or five week program. You go for your maximum and you deload or whatever. But as you can see, this was Lakshmi's first set. And she, I wouldn't say she hit failure. She obviously didn't, but she got really close to hitting failure on that. And this is my first set, guys. Um, it felt a lot harder than it looks, that's for sure. But. I'm still trying to work on my squat form. I don't feel, I'm having this issue, and feel free to critique my form if you're watching this video, but I'm having this issue where I'm not feeling tight as I drop down, and when I do feel uh, tight, I'm, I'm not hitting the right depth. So when, when, I, when I drop down, I get that stretch reflex out of the bottom, that's when I don't feel tight anymore. And you know, I'm doing the usual cues with the, you know, taking a deep breath, stabilizing my core, stuff like that, but there's something about my hips shooting up and it's happening anytime I go above, you know, two plates. So I, it's not extremely heavyweight, but it still happens. And I'm just trying to work on that. So I'm still playing around with my stance, you know, like how fast I'm dropping on the eccentric, little, little things like that. Um, but the four by six was pretty bad for myself as well. I played a lot of basketball the past week. I used to be a basketball player and um, I, my knees were aching. They were really aching. That's probably the reason why I stopped. So I was pretty mad with myself about that, that I didn't take care of my knees better, ice them, stuff like that. So they were hurting from my warm up set. So we got through this guys and then we had to do deadlifts. And you're not gonna believe my gym actually, as of today, when we were walking in, you're not allowed to have gym bags on the floor. So you have to put them in a locker. The gym's on the fourth floor, you have to put them in the first floor locker. So just grab what I had to, I got my squat shoes, belt, same with Lakshmi, and then our headphones. And so I forgot chalk, obviously. So these deadlifts called for um, Lakshmi, it was 250 by six, and for myself it was 325 by six. And it was pretty decent, you know, I, I would say an RP like nine, but without chalk, the bar was actually slipping out of my hand. So that was the first week in Candido's program. Sorry, excuse me, the first two days, upper body and lower body day of Candido's program. Um, you're hitting everything. You're Hitting upper body twice a week, three times a week, and you're hitting lower body twice a week. So the volume's there. I like I said, I tweaked it a little bit, but I'm gonna work with it and see how it goes. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. That's about it for this though. Enjoy this last clip of me deadlifting, guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, uh, we'll have 
some new footage coming very soon because it's actually it's Wednesday right now. This video is coming out on Thursday, and on Friday we're driving out of Miami, so we're gonna film a lot in Miami and get a bunch of footage for you guys. Try to schedule videos during that, but when we get back, it's gonna be a huge influx of videos. So stay tuned for that. As always, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. If you want to support the channel, just share the video, and we'll see you guys in the next video.